Oh, paddlers, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in my last panel video, near the end, I actually mentioned if uh, anyone would be interested in learning a couple of knots that I use, because I know that sounds boring to most of you and a lot of you'll tune out straight away, but when I'm in my kayak, there's really only two knots I ever really use. One just to tie up next to like a, a jetty or some up, right? Just to stay sat in my boat, so in case another boat comes along, I can undo it fast and take off if the guy who owns the jetty comes along. And then another knot I use to tie it up a little bit more securely, right? And they're really the only two knots I ever use, apart from the occasional time when I've been lately at Mount. Uh, Mount Rockmore, <laughs> that launch place type thing, where I've used my bow line and my stern line and joined them together. Uh, but in that video, I did say about making a video, making it real slow and super simple, super basic type thing, so that people can follow along to see how certain knots are done. So what I thought I'd do is a few people. Uh, have asked me to make this video in the comments so I'm gonna show you my two knots that I use the most right which is probably all you'll ever need it, they're that good right but uh, I'll also show you how I took two or three real simple easy ways not think too complicated easy ways to join the two lines together if you're wrapping your bow and your stain line together and like round but i had like a stick right two two or three simple ways of doing that and then if i remember and not everybody on the planet should know i'll just show you how to do a bowling right or a bowl line depending on which part of the world you come from but it's a bowling it's a bowling yeah but uh yeah mainly though these first two knots is what i always use one super fast to release in case of an emergency and you have to get going while you're sitting in your boat really it's for sitting in your boat the next one is for if you're going to get out your boat and have a picnic <laughs> right and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Right? If I think of anything else that might be relevant, I'll stick that in, because I, I haven't filmed myself doing it yet. I've literally been sat here playing with this uh, bit of old rope, thinking, how do I make this video? How do, I, how do I actually make it without, you know what I mean, props, so to speak. But uh, I think I've figured it out. That's a hint. So let's uh, give it a go and uh, real VT. Okay then, paddlers. Right, this is my boat. It's a great boat. <laughs> I pulled up next to I don't know anything, a dock, uh, a buoy, anything where there might be a piece of rope or a bar or part of a fence you know what it's like when you're on the river right now this is the it, it don't forget this is only my opinion and let's not forget i'm talking about kayaks here right i have this this piece of rope in my boat i have a d-ring in my boat inside my boat and i just have this hooked on it's all tied up obviously but uh Whenever I want to use it, I just either leave it hooked on inside or just hook it on the top. And this is the knot I always use when I'm tied up in this sort of situation. And you just take your up. We'll call this, as most people do, the working end. Right? The other end is connected to your boat. And let's say you've got a piece of rope or whatever, we've just been through that. I'm just using this chair because well, it's handy. Right, you make just a loop. All you've done is just loop it and stick it under whatever it is. Right, 
and then you've got this end sticking out you're working in sticking out I'm just keeping this really simple and basic in case just so it's really easy to follow right and then take this end right just put it to one side of that right you'll get to do this fast right then take the end that's on your boat right and make another loop and just pass it through the first loop and grab hold of it right and then take that working end and just tighten it up a little bit just to make it neater but then take your working end and make a third loop all you're doing is just open it up like that you're not crossing it just looping it together and pass it through the second loop right and just hold on to it like that this is a mess right so just start to gently on the boat and just start to pull it a bit tighter make it a bit neater if you want which isn't important and that's it that now you remember your boat doesn't do this but that now it's tight and to release it it's just this working end again pull and you're off again that is perfect this knot is perfect for when you're sitting in a boat and you're staying in your boat and you're just going to tie up next to some more I don't know while you have a drink while you maybe eat a sandwich but you're doing all this while you just sat in your boat I'll just show you again all right you got your end yeah calling this the working end again that's just dropping down between my legs in the boat just making a little little loop well not even a loop just bending the rope really just bending the rope sliding it under whatever all right you might might even be a ring on the jetty but whatever and then taking the part that's connected to your boat you might have to pull a bit of slack out but either way taking the part that's connecting to your boat just make another little bend that's your second bend pass it through your first one okay you can pull it a bit tighter there if you want neaten it up but then take your working end make your third bend because you're not really knotting anything just make your third bend and pass it through the second one all right and when you get to that point take the part that's connected to your boat and pull tight all right just give it a pull and that's it you don't have to because it will tighten itself but but that is it so that's connected to your jetty or whatever. that is you sat in your boat this won't happen while you sat in your boat all right you just sat there and it's just a bit of movement or whatever but you're in tight and to release one hand pull you're off and that's as simple as that is now say you want to get out your boat and you're a bit worried you've got your boat tied up the way i've just showed you right your boat's tied up like that and you want to get out your boat and maybe go for a little walk but you don't want to go too far you never do when you're leaving your boat but there's always a chance a kid might come by and just pull on that <laughs> and then your boat's off for a, a, a sail so if i'm getting out of my boat i don't use that knot i only use that knot when i'm sitting in my boat or if i'm basically just going to get out and i'm stuck there you know what i mean now if i'm getting out maybe getting on top of summer and gonna have a coffee and all like this i use this knot which is actually easier than the first one and almost identical right exactly the same principle breaking end just drop down all right bend the rope again exactly the same as the first one put it under whatever exactly the same as the first one take the part that's connected to your boat make another bend just like in the first one and pass it through all this at the moment is exactly the same as the first one the only difference is this bit all you do this time is take the working end and push it all the way through that second one like that and then just clinch up all right now that is solid the more that pulls all right 
it actually the the more it pulls in a way the better so if there was a I don't know, 100 mile an hour storm and your boat's going all over the place. The more this pulls, the more secure your boat is. Unless you've got a real thin line that's going to snap. Because there's absolutely no chance, no chance of that slipping. And unless you've got grease all over your line, I suppose. But the best thing is to undo it if you just one hand you can just wiggle about a bit it's a bit trickier than the last one because this is more of a knot knot than a slip knot but uh, you can still do it with just one hand look and there you go so right this one again exactly the same as the first one make a bend in the rope slide it under whatever Take the end connected to the boat, make a second bend, slide it through your first one. You can just neaten that up a little bit again. And then take your working end, this time just slide it all the way through that top hole. All right, and then just pull them to. You can actually see how the rope is grabbing onto everything all right, and nipping it. All right. And you can see the little pattern there, hopefully. If I you'll end up with something like that, right? And that that's it. Now that is. I mean I'm gonna break this chair before that comes off, so I'm not gonna pull any harder. You'll just have to trust me, I'm pulling hard. Uh, you could literally tour a car with that. Now, if I was touring a car with this knot, right, what I would do, one, to get rid of this, but just for that extra piece of security, because this is for a boat, I would simply just put one of these little uh, half itches in, maybe even two, right? And you could literally tour a car with that, but that's not necessary for on a boat. Right, that's enough. You've tied it up. Your boat is not going anywhere. That is not coming out. That's not slipping. You can actually use that knot on a proper boat. Right? I don't mean a big ship. Right? But I mean like a, a motor boat or something. But that is solid. Right? So there's your two knots. Right? Which are the ones I use 99.9% .9 of the time. So remember. Right, we'll do them again, but this time a little bit quicker because I don't. You, I've done it slow, so now just to get the idea, you got your working end, you've got whatever, you're just making a bend, sliding it under, getting the end connected to the boat, making another bend, your second one, sliding it under, going back to your working end, making your third bend, sliding it through, and then pulling tight. Right, you sat in your boat. You're doing your whatever, that's nice and tight. And then when you want to go, just pull and it all comes out. And you chuck. You see, this is great if you are tied up onto a buoy, a jetty or something. This is a perfect knot because you look over your shoulder, the guy who owns the jetty is coming up in his boat and he's a bit of an asshole. He don't want to wait and he's not going to wait. He's going to come in. So at least with this, you sat in your boat, you can just pull that one line, chuck your line in and go. Right, uh, so that's where that comes in handy. And the second one, exactly the same, make your loop, make your second loop, put it through. Right, uh, get your working end, instead of making a loop this time, just slide it all the way through the second one and pull. That's it. Right, uh, you can tidy it up, make it neat, but it's not a necessity. Right, uh, the way the rope wraps round itself it locks itself in place all right now i know somebody will say to me yeah but you're using really good quality rope there george all right now that's a fair comment because not everybody has the good quality rope this stuff cost me five pound for 10 meters all right this is cheap rope it's not expensive like that rope I've just showed you. This is just cheap rope, five pound for 10 meters. All right, and exactly the same. All right, I'm not gonna do this slow, but it's exactly the same, right? Same principle, 
All right. And that's locked in. Nice and tight with a cheap rope to pull. And because it's a cheap rope, it actually come off easy. It didn't try, it was less of a bite. And the opposite way, all right, for tying up for a long period of time. All right, slide it through, pull. And yeah, it, it's just the same, you, 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 it tightens itself up. So it don't really matter if, if it's an expensive piece of rope or a cheap piece of rope. It will work, it won't slip. Okay then, they're the two main knots I use because you've got one when you sit in your boat and you've got one when you get out of your boat. Now, somebody did ask, because uh, in a couple of my videos, I've tied my, my bow line and my star, star, my front and back, my bow and my stand line together, all right, to join them together. And somebody had asked, uh, I can't remember word for word, but how did you tie them together? Uh, and uh, I believe, I could be wrong here, I'm sure somebody said, but as if one line's too long or something. So I'll show you an easy way of uh, joining a couple of lines together when basically you've got too much line or not enough. Okay, but I'll have to show you that on a different angle. So let's do a jump shot. Okay then, paddlers. Right, this should be fun because I'm in the right funny position here. Uh, let's assume this line is at the front of your boat, your bow. You've got a short line. Right, this line is coming from the back or vice right versa, it doesn't really matter. But one end's long, one end short. Right, and as you've seen with me, actually, right, when I've tied up to uh, launch Rockmore, right, I might put a stake in the ground or something. Or that there might just be something like this you want to tie onto, but you want to tie both ends on because the water's a bit rough and you want to stabilise your boat so that the front of your boat and the back of your boat are both tied up. Right, this end, right, what reach? This end is way too long. Now, yes, we can run this line around, use all this line, I'll just put a little bowling on that. I will show you this knot, even though you probably know a bowling. And I could wrap it round there and tie it round and tie it round, but it, you're using line you don't really need to, right? Plus, this bit of line might come in handy, right, for your boat. But let's just assume you've you've pulled the line through, right. Your boat's exactly how you want it, right. But you don't want to use all this line. You might have this tied up nice and neat. You get me? Just just go with just go with the floor. So you need to connect this to that. Now there's two ways of doing it, right. This is the, well, there's a few ways actually, but this is what I found is a simple way. If you take your line, right, and just cross it over itself like that, right? Reach through this little hole and pull up a bit, right? And you've got like a little, like a little slip knot. Now you could, in theory, which I have done in the past, just clip uh, a carabiner to both and that's it, it's clipped in. But you may be in a situation where you haven't got the carabiner, all right? So how are you gonna connect these without using all this? You could have another 100 foot there, but you're not gonna have that much on a kayak. But you need to connect them both together, all right? So that you've got your front and the back of your boat on one place that doesn't move. Now. This is the simplest way, right? Look on the ground if you haven't got a carabiner. Find a twig or a, a, a bit of a branch. I ain't got one to hand, but I've got a bit of metal. Right, it's actually a boom off one of my helicopters that got bust. Right? Take your ball in, the front bit, the, the, take the side that you haven't just put a loop in, right? And slide it through there. 
take this side, you stick your pick up, right, and slide it through both, and then pull, right, pull tight, now you're locked in, that's your stick holding everything in place, right, now both ends are secure, and it's not going anywhere, and when you want to go, you pull your stick out, right, that will come straight out, and you're off, okay, Another way of doing it, which is just the same almost, right? Make a loop again. Sorry. Just trying to get enough room here. Right. I don't know if it's on shot, you see. Right. Make a loop again. Oops. Right. Pull it a little bit tighter this time. Right, so you can see better. Right. And then this end. Right, your loose end, slide it through your bowling, right, and then put the stick in there, right, and then as you pull that, it tightens up, your stick will tighten up and lock in your first line and your back line and everything's locked in, that is locked in tight, there's no way that's ever going to come off, right, or like a stick is somewhat, like I said you could just use a carabiner to fasten them together. Now when you want to, you pull it out, right, that comes off, right, pull that little loop out, and you're off again, okay. I'm not going to show you, there's loads of different ways you can tie your lines together. I'm just trying to show you a simple way. I will show one more, one more simple way of joining these two lines together. And like I said, they are more... There are other ways, I'm just trying to show you what I would class as a simple, simple solution. Once again, I make that little loop, okay, you've got your little hangman loose. And on this one, I, this time, slide it through the hangman loose, I, tighten up your hangman loose, so it's, it's on the road. And then all you have to do is a couple of like half inches, right, and that's it. That's locked in tight again. It's really tight. And to undo it, just undo your little half inches you've done, right, and you slide that rope out of that hole, and that one's gone. Really is that simple. Because this is a good one, and I do use it myself a few times, I'll just show you again. Uh, all you're doing is crossing the line over, putting your fingers through, reaching through and grabbing your, the other line. Alright, just making a little loop like that. And then take your other side of the rope from your boat, slide it through, alright, and then slip that up, let it tighten up, alright, and then take this end, get out the road. Take this end, wrap it around like a half inch, pull it up, and do another one, and pull it up. Now, I know that not looks a bit all over the place, but you have to think you've got two ropes joined together here, because that now is solid, right? So you've got your boat out that way, your boat out that way, and that is solid. You know, I wouldn't tie two trucks to either side of it and pull, but your boat is secure, and to undo once again, right, it's just a case of undoing them two little slip knots, right, and then just sliding the rope out, and it really is that simple. But then first two knots will be the most you'll use. This is only in like extreme case if you need to join both lines together. Right, so. The last thing I'm going to show you, because it's not everybody should know how to do, and that's a bowling. So I'll, I'll just change positions again to show you that. Okay then, paddlers. Right, this is just a, you should already know this, but just in case, right, a bowling, bowling. Well, it's spelt bowling, but it's spoken bowling <laughs> and that's a debate <laughs> that, that 
different people from different countries will argue with, but the knot's basically the same. Now, my father taught me how to do this when I was a wee nipper snapper, maybe five or six. Uh, you probably heard this story. In fact, uh, if you like the film Jaws, I, uh, Chief Brody learns this knot the same way. Uh, imagine this is a tree. Right, this is a tree, this end of the rope. Right? Now at the bottom of the tree, there's a rabbit. And the rabbit digs a hole in the bottom of the tree. Right? Because the rabbit... I'll tell you what, let me make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see. Right? The rabbit digs a hole in the bottom of the tree. Right? And the rabbit sticks its head up out the hole but seeing nature gets scared and it runs around the tree it's the tree runs around the tree and it jumps back down the rabbit hole and it gets stuck it's stuck in the rabbit hole so to try and help the rabbit the tree pushes its roots further up further up and further up to try and free the rabbit and the rabbit escapes and there's your bowling all right you <laughs> i know <laughs> it seems like a silly story but that's the way i learned it as a kid all right uh, basically take your line imagine you're holding a key turn your key off all right Take your other end, slide it up through the hole, run it round the base, back down through the hole, grab hold of it and pull. And there's your bowling. All right. I have seen on YouTube, all right, just, just look at this knot first of all. The way this line here goes there, it loops under here, runs all the way around, and background so it's all locking in on itself all right now I have seen on YouTube a video all right one of these shorts of this guy showing you how the quickest bowling in the world I think he called it and when I first saw it I thought hey that looks good but then I tried it and he turns his rope he goes through he pinches a piece all right like this Right, then he takes his line, goes through, holds onto his line and pulls. Right? And that's his bowling. Now the problem is when you really look at this now, well you can you can see this loose line is there. That's all it is. It's just wrapped around. It's just that one little loop there. Right? so in theory okay it's tightening up on itself but it's just there and that's it and it's it's out all right so i don't i don't i don't like that I prefer the original all right where you've got your hole your wabbit round the tree back down the hole all right and pull now you can see here this line now, all right, is running down, it's running around, it's running under here, it's all joined onto one long piece, all right, but then you've got another rope, the other part of it coming round helping to lock this in. It it's a much prettier looking and more well designed. Well, this is the original way how to do it, so don't mess with their originality. If it's not bust, don't try and fix it. But this is a sort of knot you'll see on ships and stuff. But it does come in handy still on a kayak, right? Because just think now, right? I've, I, I, I do use this knot, right? Because in situations, I might just chuck that over a fence post. You get me? It's quick, it's simple, my boat's tied up. All right, but uh, there's all different ways of doing different knots, and I'm not going to go into all of them. I've showed you right at the beginning, right the the two which I nearly always use, 99.9% .9 of the time, and personally in a kite, they're the only two you really ever 
need you've got your one for your slip if you're still sitting in the boat and you've also got uh, the one where you can fasten it more securely if you're wanting to get out of the boat right and have a walk about right but there's literally an infinity of knots you see what i did there what's the infinity sign you impressed no you don't sound impressed but yeah there's an infinity of knots right in other words there's absolutely loads of them about but they're them first two i showed you they're the main two i always use on my boat and occasionally i'll join them two lines together in one of them two or three ways i just showed you and the bow line i may use every now and again but i'll say it again i've said this about six times now all right nine times out of ten i just use them first two knots that i showed you the one that slips and the one that tightens up i will cover this real quick i have been asked how many lines do i take with me on my boat all right well i have one at the front one at the back and one inside the boat just for tying up quick as i uh, mentioned all right so i'll leave it there then paddlers oh and these different ways of tying ropes up like this all right but i'll leave it ah. and that was the telephone so as i was saying hope you enjoy this little video and uh i don't think i'll make another one in the future because the you know what i mean i know a few people did ask for this but as I said, them two knots for a kayak, that slip one and that holding in place one is all you really need. And yeah, they're joining the two lines together, but I think I'd showed you three different ways of doing that. And to be quite honest, one of them's <laughs> get a decent carabiner, you can join two lines together really easy, get you. All right, but uh, yeah, so, I hope this helps anyhow I hope you found it interesting and uh, I can't remember the names off the top of my head I should have looked it up but the people that actually left the comments saying yeah I'd like you to make a video showing a few knots I'd be interested to see if you found the few knots I showed you interesting or not or useful all right if you hated them though tell me that too all right because uh, I like a bit of criticism Okay then paddlers, I'll uh, leave it there, so thanks for watching and cheers.